Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Pratt to analyze some songs um, for this project. Um, so first, I'm going to be using Vava's My New Swag um, for this tutorial. So uh, if you want to use this to follow along, that's perfectly cool. Um, so first, you have to find your song. Um, I just pulled it up on YouTube. I think be able to hear it. And um, this song, for example, has lyrics that go with it. So you can kind of know where... Uh, the lyrics go along in the song. I find it pretty helpful. Um, I have the lyrics on the side right here. And let's just get started. So first things first, you're going to have to turn this mp3 or mp4 file, which is the YouTube video, into an mp4, I mean mp3 file. Um, so I just use this website usually. You can find your own way to do it if you would like. So I just search my new it'll usually come up um, so this first one's fine, and we just hit this download button, um, and then you can download mp3. Oh, interesting. Anyway, we can disregard this, but either way, um, the mp3 file is now down here. Um, there we go. So, you can save this where you would like. Um, next, what we're going to have to do is remove all the background um, music and we just want the vocals so you can go to this website called vocalremover.org and once you go here the first thing you'll see is browse my files so you can select um, the file you had I already have the mp3 downloaded from before and it's this one right here so I'll just select it um, it'll take a couple seconds um, and then it'll pull up and I'll show you guys how to um, get just the vocal part um, in the meantime uh, what we're going to be using is Audacity, so if you don't already have Audacity, you should download it. Um, we'll be using this to crop our audio. Another thing you'll need to download is Pratt, which I'm sure um, your teacher has already mentioned, so it is right here, and I'm just going to open it up. Um, once this opens up, you'll see these two pages right here. This one on the right, you don't really need to, you can close out of it. We'll mostly be using this one. Let's see if our file is done. Here we go. So as you can see, the music is turned all the way up here, but our vocals is all the way down. So if you want to hear what it sounds like, you can turn music down and vocals all the way up and hit play. Right here is just the music. I'm going to fast forward to here. You can tell that it's just the vocal part right here. Um, so when you're done with that, you're just going to download it. And to download this, you just hit the vocals button. So you hit vocals and should download. Again, I already have this downloaded, so I'm just going to not go through the process of saving that. All right, on to the next step, which is Audacity. Oops. So when you open up Audacity, um, this page should come up. You're going to hit File, and you're going to Open, and we're going to search for our file. So it is this one. Make sure you pick the vocal one um, and open it. You can kind of click in here and hit the Play button to see which part um, it is. I'm not sure if you guys are doing the whole song or just a portion of it, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to crop out a little bit and work on it. Um, so the way to crop this is you kind of just select a portion, go to edit, and then I usually just like delete. And then I can select another portion and then I can delete it and I can listen to it. So once I'm happy with that, I can go to file, I'm going to export, and we're going to export as a WAV file right here, because that's the format that our Pratt is going to want to use. So export as WAV, it'll come here, and then you can save it. I already have this saved, so I'm just going to close out of this for now. Okay, on to the Pratt part. So once you have um, your um, cropped vocal section, we're going to go to Pratt, and we're going to open it. So hit open, read from file, and you're going to want to find that file. Where is it for me? Here's my wavy file. You're going to see an object here called sound along with your file name. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to click analyze periodicity. Then you're going to hit to pitch and it'll create this pop-up right here. You can keep these defaults. Um, they're not very important. So go with OK. Don't know why that closed. Um, next, we're going to have the second one highlighted and we're going to hit convert. And then we're going to hit down to pitch tier. So we have a pitch tier object now. Then we we'll click on the second one again. We're going to hit annotate and we're going to hit to text grid. And that's going to have another pop up. I usually name the syllables and then I make sure this one's blank right here because we don't have any point tiers. I'm going to hit OK. 
and then we're going to have our fourth object here. And these are all the four that we're going to need. So now once you have all these four, we're going to select this first one and the fourth one simultaneously. If you have Windows, you're going to hold the control key. And if you have Apple, you can hold the command key to select both of these. And we're going to hit view and edit. <coughs> Excuse me. So you're going to have this pop up. You can ignore the warning that comes up. It doesn't really matter. Um, this is what we're going to be working on primarily. So if you kind of just click anywhere and you want to listen to it, there's going to be a bar down here. And you can hit either the visible part, which is going to be this whole thing. Or you can hit like here. Anyway. So that's how you listen to it. I'm going to go back into it actually. So um, the part we're going to annotate. So obviously right now, this whole thing is very long and it's going to be really hard to actually annotate. So we're going to have to zoom in a lot. So I'm just going to hit this in button down here. You can also zoom out by clicking the out button. Um, and the part I usually get to is if you can zoom in enough so that you can start to see these like um, stratifications very clearly. Um, this is like one chunk right here. This is kind of a chunk here. If you can start seeing these chunks, that's when you're going to best be able to annotate. If you get too close, it might be a little difficult too. So this is not a good place to be. Down here you have a little slider um, to take you around the song. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how to annotate a portion of it. So this is where the lyrics um, come in handy. So for your annotations, you'll be only annotating the last word of each line. So um, in the Baba example, verse 1 goes, look at me, I can't really read this, and, but the last word is xia. Um, and so on this word, this is all we're really looking for, and in this one, Jia is all we're looking for, and xia again, and ma. And so these are the words we're looking for, and we're kind of just ignoring this whole first part. So let's like listen to where we are in the song. So you can tell it's about to say, look at me. So we're going to scroll a little bit. Scroll a little bit more. Keep going. Okay, so this, now we can tell, is where it says xia. Zong shang dao xia which is right here. Once you can find out it's like roughly in this area, what we do is we start annotating. So you want to click where you think roughly the xia starts. And it doesn't matter because you can always change it if you guess wrong. So most words will start where the striation changes. So this is going from this light to this like line almost into dark. So you can click on it. And when you click on it, this little hexagon type shape will ap appear and you click on it it'll create a line. So now you can start playing starting at this line if you click on this bar instead of this visible bar. So if you click here, and upon doing this, I kind of realized that there's actually another sound and the xia might actually start here. So I'm going to scoot this line down here. So this is actually where the xia starts. And the end of it is maybe roughly here. And I can click another one. And now I create this little yellow bar. And that's the word xia. And this is what we're going to want to annotate. A side note is that I can tell when I listen to this that the beginning kind of sounds like a drum because the vocal isn't super clear. And that might be creating this like high pitch here. Another uh, thing is that the first consonant doesn't really matter. We're actually really thinking just about the vowel sound of xia. So we're not really thinking about the xia sound. Um, it's mostly just the ya part. So we can kind of cut out this entire beginning part and we really only care about the uh, tone bearing Part, which is just the vowels. And this is enough. So right here, I'm just going to annotate this xia for <coughs> the box is um, right up here, so you can put that there. And then we'll kind of just keep scrolling and listening. So now this is where the jia is. So we're going to want to find the jia part. So I'll just like click somewhere and start listening. So it's pretty. It doesn't really sound quite like jia, and that's going to happen a lot, but you don't really hear the emphasis on the ja, and that's okay. It's really just part of the vocal remover not doing a very great job. But the entire tone is still here. We can still tell like the tone of the word ja. So we can ignore the beginning constant sound anyway. Maybe this goes longer. Again, I think this will pop right here. It's just a drum beat, so we're going to kind of like make sure we cut that part out. And we're going to annotate this ja. So, once we have that, we're going to just kind of do this through the whole song. 
And whenever we're done with this, we can just go back in here and we're going to want to save these two things. So this one, you don't actually have to do anything to change. This fourth one was changed when you annotated this. So this one, you can hit save and you can hit save as short text file and you're going to save it into whatever folder you want. Again, I already have this saved as um, my my new swag guava and make sure you save the pitch tier, label it pitch tier. And when you save the text grid, you're going to uh, label it text grid. So I'm going to show you come here and you're going to also hit save, save as short text file. Same thing, you want to label it as text grid and save that. I'm going to quickly show you guys what it looks like, what these files look like, so you can compare. Um, so in pitch tier, it'll look something like this. It's going to be a lot of values, and it's just going to have a timestamp to another timestamp, and it's going to have a pitch value, which is this like 200 something value in between. And it's going to go like this for a really, really long time. Um, in the text grid, yours is going to be longer than mine, but most of mine are blank, as you can tell because I didn't label very much. I only labeled the xia and the jia. And, oh, actually, never mind. I did this earlier. So these are the ones where I labeled just the last syllables, and you can see um, the ones that I did. And you're going to have a lot of blank ones because we're ignoring all the ones that don't have words, and it doesn't matter because our Python script will clean these all out. Um, and yeah, this is all that you need for the annotation, and I will show you guys what to do in the next part.